don't like anything with math once you do a couple of them. They're really easy. The only difference between this problem and a more complicated one is there's more fractions. You have a calculator. So, okay, so our first thing is to find f prime of x by integrating f double prime. So the integral of x squared, that gives us x to the third over 3. And the integral of negative 3x is negative 3x squared over 2 plus c. You with me? I hope so. <sighs> okay, so now I'm going to use this information that tells me for f prime, when x is 0, the whole thing equals negative 1. So I set this to negative 1 and I replace the x's with zeros. When x is zero, that's the easiest. Okay, so this term goes to zero and this term goes to zero. So c is just equal to negative one. So that tells me f prime of x is equal to this, x to the third over three, minus three x squared over two, minus one. So it's a step down thing. Integrate this to get this. Integrate f prime to get f. So f of x is the integral of f prime it's the biggest whiteboard I could get online. So there you have it. <coughs> I have allergies. I don't have the, the vid. Okay, so, so add one, okay, and then I would be dividing by four, and four times three is twelve, okay, add one to the exponent, and I would be dividing by three, three times two is six, and then the integral of negative one is x, negative x, and then I have my plus c, and I'm going to go ahead and reduce that. Okay, that's pretty messy. But now I'm going to use this information that tells me for my position function, when x is 2, the whole function is equal to 3. So I put a 3 here and replace these x's with 2's. So 2 to the 4th over 12, minus 2 to the 3rd over 2, minus 2 plus c. Okay, so 2 to the 4th is 16, so you have 16 over 12, minus 8 over 2, minus 2 plus c. Well, 4 goes into here, 4, and that's 3, this reduces to 4. So you have 4 thirds, minus 4, minus 2, plus c. All right. Okay, remember I don't care about rounding, okay? <clears throat> so that the answer is f of x is equal to this stuff, x to the fourth over 12 minus x to the third over 2 minus x plus 7.67. Now, if you were so inclined to check these, you would just do everything in reverse. You would take the derivative of this, and that should give you this. Take the derivative of this, and that should take you back up to that. So, let's go ahead and do that, just because I want to make sure that you remember how to take derivatives. So, let's write down what we have. We have this thing. Um, where we go? Okay. And then we have our f of x is equal to this thing down on the bottom. Okay, 
So just bear with me. I don't know why I'm so nervous about doing this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to check by taking derivatives, okay? So if I take the derivative of f, I get f prime. The derivative of f prime is f double prime. So <clears throat> I'm looking at this, okay? The derivative, I would bring the 4 down. Let me erase this other crap. Sorry. I would like to point out that I showered today and I am no longer in pajamas, just for you guys. Okay, so taking the derivative of this, the 4 comes out front, subtract 1 from your exponent, then we still have our 12 on the bottom. Okay, bring the 3 out front. Subtract 1 from your exponent, then we divide by our 2. The derivative of minus x is minus 1. Derivative of a constant, remember, is 0. Okay, so then if I reduce this, okay, I'm going to have x to the third over 3 minus 3x squared over 2 minus 1, which is what I was hoping to get. That means I didn't make a mistake doing the problem. Hooray for that. Okay, next thing to do is to take the derivative of this, and that should take me back up to this. Okay, going to bring your 3 out front, subtract 1 from your exponent, divide by 3. Bring your 2 out front, subtract your 1 from your exponent, derivative of a constant is 0. Those are going to cancel, and those are going to cancel. So I'm going to have x squared minus 3x. Check. Yay! We did it. Fantastical. Okay. Um, let me see here. So let's just do, I'm going to do one problem from this sheet that I put on course web using integration to find a function, okay? So we'll do this. CW is course web, okay? Um, So that, that's what's given in the problem, okay? We're given our f double prime, and we're given these values to find the c's that we're going to get as we integrate. Okay, so f prime is the integral of this stuff. Okay, add 1, divide by the new number. Add 1 divide by the new number, stick on an x and a c. Easy enough, right? This I can reduce. Okay, so now to get c, I'm going to use this information. So the whole function is going to be equal to 2 when x is 0. So if x is 0, that term is 0, that term is 0, that term is 0. Told you, zeros are your friend. Okay, so therefore c is equal to 2. And that means that f prime of x is equal to x to the fourth over 4 minus 2x squared plus 2x plus 2. Ta-da! Okay, now remember we're trying to find f of x, so now I have to integrate this. So I'm going to put it up here. Okay, I'm just rewriting this up here because I'm out of space. Ugh. Uh. Okay. Man, I hope this method of teaching doesn't suck. 
I really miss you guys. This was my attempt, to be perfectly honest with you, I wanted it to be as close to our normal lectures as possible, rather than to use Zoom or Skype or anything, because your lives are upended too. So this way, you can look at it when you feel like you can focus and concentrate without interruption. You can pause it, you can go back, and it'll, it'll be there for you. Um, I was hoping to do this earlier, but I had to order SD cards, which stands for social distancing, I think. Anyway, they didn't come until yesterday, so this is why there's a little delay here. But I think we can do this, pretty sure. Okay, so back to our problem. I'm trying to find f of x, so let's integrate this <clears throat> with respect to x. Add 1 to your exponent, and then I would have 5 times 4, that's going to give me a 20. Add 1 to your exponent, divide by that same number. Add 1 to your exponent, divide by that same number. Slap on an x, slap on a c. That reduces. Okay, so now I'm going to use this information to get this value. So when x is 0, the whole function is equal to 1. Well, when x is 0, that term is 0, because 0 divided by 20 is 0. That term is 0. That term is 0. That term is 0. I love 0. Okay, therefore, c equals 1. And I can answer the question, which was to find f of x. You know what? That's a lot of writing. So why don't I just do this? There we go. Okay, so there's some other problems on the sheet that I put on there. And I didn't realize until like a minute ago that number seven and number eight involve trig. So that's not gonna be for the business calc class because we're not covering trig in there. 